Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Microgreen Show. With today's episode, we are going to grow micro arugula in this growth chamber right behind me. Okay, let's get on with that episode. Here's a list of items that are needed to start this project. First, you're going to need seeds, measuring spoon, safety gloves, because safety comes first, and we're going to use a jute pad. Next, we're going to put on our face mask, because safety is first around here. Here we go. Next, we're going to put our safety gloves on, and make sure you washed your hands and sanitized before putting on the gloves. All right, here's the trays that I chose to use for this project. These trays I purchased off Amazon. You can find a link in the description below. Next step we're gonna do is pre-cut the mat to size and lay it out flat. Next step we're gonna do is soak the mat. Go ahead and lift the tray up and put the mat on the bottom and then let's pour water. So that way this mat soaks up the water. Now it's not absorbing. What's happening is the water is going in the air pockets and that's how the water is being retained inside the mat. After letting this soak for eight hours, let's go ahead and take the mat out and put it on the tray. Make sure to really, really even out the mat so that way none of the seeds clump up together anywhere on the mat. The next step, we're going to grab a half teaspoon of seeds and let's go ahead and evenly spread it out on half the tray. I really like to do this gently and slow so that way I dispert the seeds really nice and evenly. Let's go ahead and do another half teaspoon. So this is a total of one teaspoon for this whole tray. Next step we're going to do, go ahead and spray the tray and make sure to just keep spraying this tray really, really well. All the water will just drip down to the bottom. The next step you want to do is spray the humidity dome and then go ahead and put the dome right back on the tray. Okay, let's put this inside the grill chamber and make sure to shut off the light right when you put it in. After two days sitting in the dark, this is what your tray should look like. And after you do this, go ahead and turn on the lights and put it back in your grow chamber. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Microgreen Show. I really like this episode because it shows you that you can grow food inside your bedroom. You don't, you can also grow in your kitchen. You can grow in the living room. Like always, happy Friday and be safe.